What's up everybody, Karan here from TechRefs. Have you faced the challenge of your laptop getting heated up within seconds of you gaming and reaching pulsating degrees of 95, 93 degree? Well, if you have that issue, you're not the only one. There are several people, several millions of people actually with laptops facing that issue every single day. Now, what people would have you advised is go to your laptop uh, manufacturer, tell him to repaste, do the repasting and everything. All that is well and good. Uh, that is definitely a good plus side that you should do or have your cooling pipes checked or have your uh, uh, you know heat sink checked or whatever. There are a lot of other measures that can be taken. If that generally fails that people say, why don't you put a cooling pad or something physical device, you know, buying extra physical device and putting it on top of that. All of that, there are various things that are in play. What people generally don't talk about uh, very often is, all of this can be avoided and there are very few easy, simple tips that can have your game actually fall down from the temps that you are seeing right now. The temps are scary, right? So 93, 94 degrees, something that my laptop hovers around very often. And it's just a GTX 1050 4GB. Now this is without undervolting, without any of the uh, things that I told you about that I would be doing. So let us check what all am I going to do. And after that, check what the temps became. So everyone, this is a gameplay demo of Far Cry New Dawn. And uh, this is with barely five minutes into the gameplay segment and uh, you can see that the temps have really risen to 90 plus for both uh, cpu and gpu so 93 mid 90s almost and uh, let's just look at the gameplay a little bit and check out what we can do to solve this all right guys so let's just check out uh, what are the settings that i generally use as you saw in the gameplay the temps were really high let's check out the settings that are generally there by default and what are the tools that i can use to bring down the temperatures now, the first thing that I would like to look at is your default MSI afterburner. Now, every laptop manufacturer has something of this sort where they let you adjust fan curves or something similar to that. So over here, it's MSI afterburner. Somewhere else, it would be called something else. Let's check over here. So currently, the fan, sp fan speed is set to auto. Auto means that uh, right now it's at 2700 RPM and then you know it shuffles between 2000, 3000, 3500 RPM. Uh, not really going beyond that. So what I'll do is I can I have two different options. One I can have it at cooler boost. At cooler boost the fan would always be ramped up at 6400 RPM or more at any given point of time. You know creating that huge noise vacuum that you feel. Uh, that is something which I'm not really keen for. If you have the time and if you can really sit down and, you know, um, do a little bit of tinkering, just go to advanced. Once you're at advanced settings, just click on settings. This is how I made the GPU curve. Like, so at these temperatures, the fan speed would be at this level. So the same thing in the GPU front at this temperature. So at this temperature, it would be at 150, 134, 105, and then so on and so forth. This is how I made the fan curve look like so that as you can see the fans have ramped down a bit and they'll be ramping down even further only during extremely ten strenuous sessions will the fans really ramp up to that high level so 6,000 6, plus RPM. Uh, it So what this does is it basically makes low noise during your regular sessions but during gaming session it can you know really uh, uh, you know ramp up the fans to keep your uh, computer keeping uh, running cool and uh, this also helps in the longevity of your fans so that is a good plus so this is one thing that is there besides this uh, there, are count there are a lot of countermeasures that I use so this is one of them the second is using MSI afterburner uh, currently it's version 4.6 so currently you can see it's at uh, your regular clock speed over here it's at zero core clock and memory is at zero so it's all at uh, you know at a default speed over here and there is no undervolting so once i click one you can see that there's a curve that comes up over here now this is the curve that i have actually set personally so if you go over here you click over here over here 
you can see the curve that I have set. This is the default curve that was there and this is the curve that I have set. So basically what this is saying is at every given frequency, I'm letting in lesser voltage. So for example, if at uh, 1000 megahertz, it was giving 700 uh, voltage. Now at 1200 uh, megahertz, you will be getting 700 voltage. So what I've effectively done is I've brought down the voltage ratio. So uh, let's see over here at 1700 something, initially you would have gotten like 950 or something. Now you're getting close to, let me check. So it's quite a bit lower actually. So what this effectively does is it keeps your CPU running, uh, your GPU running really cool because the more the voltage is there, the higher chances are that uh, it would consume a lot more heat. So this effectively uh, acts as another countermeasure. It really doesn't do anything to your system, but the only issue is that from time to time you have to keep on changing these uh, settings. So I've just applied the profile. Once I click over this, just apply the profile. Uh, one moment, please. Just a word of advisory. You should not undervolt your GPU or CPU way too much. Otherwise, it just might crash your C computer and you might have to restart it again. So be careful when you under. What this just does is that uh, it uh, helps your system running really cool. Now the third thing, which is for your processor side, is something called undervolting for your processor. Over here, what I would do is I would offset this core by minus five every time. So, and then try to find a sweet spot in between somewhere. So this is the sweet spot that I find. I haven't gone below that, although I can, but I haven't. So if you like go to profile, I've set a profile, I can just click on apply. And your minus 1.5 voltage is there now. So what this has effectively done is, it has worked as a undervolt for the, again, the same logic applies over here, lesser voltage at higher clock speeds. This basically manages a combination of these three things will help you in keeping your laptop running really cool without actually having to spend any money. Let's check out the gameplay now and how is the performance actually and how, are, how have the temp, temps actually responded. So this is the performance after undervolting. You can see that the performance has stabilized, frame rates are good and well there is a shave off of at least 12 to 13 degrees which is a lot actually. And the uh, processor is also responding uh, decently. It's not, uh, the difference isn't that dr drastic. I would say more in the average terms of seven to eight degree, which is still pretty good. And with the uh, fan set at your uh, advanced curve. So, you know, counter, counter measuring that temperature from going really high. So guys, if you found this video useful, or if the help was informative, share it with your friends, like this video, Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such content. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace